Hello everyone and welcome to Black Star Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and in this video today I'm going to be talking to you about how to use the phaser effect in the Black Star Amped 2. I'm going to be showing you a few different cool ways to use this effect and how to get the most out of it in your own playing. So phaser is a modulation effect that works by creating a duplicate of the signal that you feed in. So now you've got two identical signals. On one of the signals it applies a bunch of filters. These filters are then mixed with an LFO which causes the filter to shift and move. Now we can control the intensity of this or the speed of this with the controls on the pedal, such as the time and the depth control. And what happens is these filters cause the guitar signal between the filtered one and the regular one to go in and out of phase consistently. So how much it goes out of phase is determined by the depth control because that's the intensity back and forth and how fast it goes in and out of phase is the time control. So this gives us this constantly moving, swirling in and out of phase effect, which is what we know as phaser. So phaser works great with clean tones and with overdriven tones. So I'm gonna start by showing you a swirly clean tone that uses phaser. So I'm gonna set the modulation time to about three and a half. So we don't want it to be too fast. The depth I want quite subtle. So I'm gonna put that on one and the level I want to mix in about the same amount as the time, so about three and a half. So without the modulation on, this is the clean tone that I'm playing with. Now when I turn the modulation on, we're going to kick in the phaser effect and it's going to add some shimmer and movement to that tone. So that's quite subtle, but if you want more of a pronounced effect, you can use the level control to blend in a little bit more of the phaser signal. Depth control is going to give us more of that out of phase effect. So if I bring the depth up slightly, we're going to get a little bit more movement there. So phase is a great way to add some movement and some shimmer to some clean parts. Now, the second way I'm going to show you is probably one of the most famous uses of phaser and this is how Eddie Van Halen used it. So Eddie Van Halen used the original MXR Phase 90 to add this modulated sweep to a lot of his guitar solos. So the original MXR only had one control. We're going to try and simulate a similar tone here by setting the time quite slow. So we're going to go for three. The depth I want on about seven and the level I want all the way up because I want to blend this in. But I'm actually going to have the drive circuit of the amp to engage. So I'm gonna be playing with an overdriven drive sound like this. Now when I turn the modulation on, we're gonna apply the phasing effect to that guitar sound, and it's gonna take us straight into that Van Halen style ballpark. <laughs> benefit of that kind of phaser effect is when you're tremolo picking a bunch of notes, the swirl of the phaser comes round every so often and you get this little bit of a push every so often on the high end of the notes. Also great when you're playing fast legato passages. Using the phaser with some of those legato passages makes some of the notes a little easier to pull out. 
the push and pull that the phaser is doing sort of makes certain notes pop a little bit more. So you get this little bit extra ease of what you're playing. This is great for getting into some of those Eddie Van Halen style guitar sounds. And the final way I'm going to show you how to use this is to create a 1960s psychedelic guitar tone. So for this, we want the time to still be on about three. We can blend this to taste as we need, but the depth and level are going all the way up to 10 here. So without the phaser, it sounds like this. When we turn that phaser on, it instantly takes us to a 1960s psychedelic guitar sound. So using phaser in this way was very popular in the late 60s and early 70s just to add some character to clean sounds. Now phaser can also be quite an extreme effect. If we crank the phaser, this happens. <laughs> So if you like more extreme phasing effects, you can also get those kind of things out as well. That's great for different textural things and sound effects within a song. Let me know down below in the comments what your favorite songs and riffs are that use phaser. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for the Black Star Amplification YouTube channel. If you've enjoyed this video, there are a bunch of other videos just like this over on the channel. So please check that out as well. If you're looking for a guitar teacher in your local area, please check out musicteacher.com. They've got a great network of teachers all around the UK waiting to take you guys to that next level. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you very soon.